Hello, welcome back to the channel, and it's Bank Holiday Monday, and it's May Day Bank Holiday, so that means it's the 1st of May, so it's time to look back at the April solar generation, how much money I saved, and um, how much energy I imported from the grid, how much I generated myself. So I'm actually filming this around 10 o'clock on the 30th of April, but I don't think two hours is going to make a great deal of difference to um, the numbers I'm going to show you. We still have plenty of charge left in the battery, so we're not going to be pouring anything from the grid. And also this time we're not going to be using much power in the house anyway. So the numbers are going to be fairly accurate. So um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, please hit that subscribe button, please also like the video, and also please comment below. I do actually enjoy uh, reading um, all your comments, especially the ones um, where you're telling me about your own solar generation in different parts of the country. It's always nice to see how other people are doing and what um, factors are affecting them. And also, I'm also interested in what your opinions are, um, what you think I should be doing, um, what you've done yourself. So, yeah, just uh, pop a comment below. I normally reply to all my comments. Um, and also it gives me thought for new videos as well. So just a bit to uh, give you some information on my roof, which is south facing, um, and I mean exactly south facing, we're about two or three degrees off. Um, I've got 12 Q cell 385 watt panels, so that totals 4.6 kilowatts. That feeds into a five kilowatt Solis hybrid inverter. And then that goes either to power the house or get stored in a pure drive five kilowatt hour battery. And this was all installed last um, August. Um, so um, a little bit um, of uh, housekeeping first before I really get into the data. First of all, if you watch my previous videos, I've noticed a mistake that I've made on them, um, that um, the way I've been calculating my input from the grid is looking at my smart meter each day and reading out how much um, I've paid and then converting that into um, my import um, rate, um, which I'm on a British gas um, tariff, which I fixed back a couple of years ago, and it's fixed until March 31st, uh, 2024, so I've got another year left on it. And from that, I'm paying just over 19p per kilowatt hour. And the standing charge, I thought it was 24p a kilowatt hour. It's actually 23 point. 345p. So I've updated my spreadsheet and um, to redo the calculations for this month. Um, and what it has meant is that the amount of input that I'm calculating using that method is now within a few hundredths of a kilowatt hour what the Solis app is predicting or saying that I'm importing. So that's good. So the way I'm generating my data for this video is from that import calculation. Um, I'm also using the Solis app and every day I just make a note of what the import was for the previous day, the export, the generation and all that sort of general information and then I do my percentage calculations from that. One thing I've had had a few comments saying that this, um, well first of all I had somebody saying it's well known the Solis app isn't accurate and um, I had somebody else commenting about it being 30% out. Um, that's not my experience. Um, first of all, as a scientist, when somebody says it's well known, I would normally ask for references and then trace back the source to see if it's actually a, double, a, div, um, a diverse source or just a single source. But let's get the science, um, or ignore the scientist um, in me. As I say, it's not my experience. I've checked my numbers against what's read on my export meter. I know roughly what I use each day and the numbers do tally very, very well. Um, and somebody did comment about looking at the month report in the Solis app. So when you look down it, you can look at your day, daily usage and your monthly and that sort of thing. I have looked at my monthly one and I'm within 1%, 1 or 2% each month. This month um, I'm within 1%. So the as you'll see, this month I generated um, 113 kilowatt hours um, from reading it from day to day and putting it into my spreadsheet. The month report on the so this app is saying 517 um, and that was similar figures to last month as well or similar differences um, so I'm putting that down to rounding errors which I'm going to talk about in another video that I will release on Friday so yeah that sounds like some of you will be having problems with their solar, uh, solar setup maybe the CT clamps are in the wrong place 
but for me the numbers seem to be fairly accurate. So with that let's go straight into the data with the first graph and the first graph is my genera April generation graph and we've had a fantastic April for sun here in Swansea. Um, we've had quite a few days where we've been up nearly 30 kilowatt hours being generated. In fact the max day which was on the 25th we generated 31.8 kilowatt hours. Um, that would be enough to power this house for about four days if we could save it all. The minimum generation which was on the 5th of April was 1.9 and as I've said earlier in the video the total generation is 513 kilowatt hours. Um, so that's our best month to date so far from our, my seven months of collecting data. So how does that actually go into how we've used it? So this is the usual graph, so just going over the colours quickly. Blue is export, so you can see a lot of export this month. Uh, the green is the self-use, so this is the term for that solitude for when we are importing energy for uh, using energy that we're generating in real time. So if the roof is producing energy and we have the dishwasher on, it's going straight into that uh, washing machine or dishwasher uh, appliance. That's the uh, uh, self-use. Um, ideally, we want to go and get that green area as big as possible, but that involves a lot of lifestyle changes and is not always um, feasible. Yellow is battery discharge, so we only charge our battery from the solar panels so this is all green energy and that's the discharge you can see it's actually pretty stable from day to day and the red is the import from the grid and as you can see there's been virtually no import um, this uh, month it's been actually one or two pence on the smart meter um, which doesn't really register on this and that's just um, the inverter kicking in and stuff like that so the only day where we really had any import was on the 6th when it was actually fairly sunny but because the day before we had so little generation only that 1.9 um, we um, couldn't ha we didn't have enough of the battery then to see us through the night and that's where that import has come from so in terms of actual usage this is what this graph um, shows um, this month we have used about um, 187 kilowatt hours, so a little bit lower than our average, which is normally about 200, but we were away for a week in the middle of April from the 13th through to the Wednesday after that, so we were away for six days, so that's brought our uses down that little bit. Um, and of that 187 kilowatt hours that we've used, um, 181.5 was generated ourselves and then supplied either via the battery or in self-use in real time and we've imported just 5.75 from the grid and, and that was mainly just over those two days um, of the um, 5th and 6th of April and there was a few pence spent today. The rest of the time was just one or two pence per day. So in terms of money, let's have a look at this. Um, so <clears throat> in terms of money, this month I've um, s spent one pound and four pence on import. So I don't take into account the sound standing charge. That's just literally the import rate um, of 19p per kilowatt hour times that five point whatever it was um, kilowatt hours of uses. And that come to just one pound and four pence for an entire month of electricity import. Um, if we hadn't had solar panels, we would have actually spent, sent um, British gas uh, £36.59p. And and so that means we have saved ourselves £35.55p. And and I'm on a seg tariff, which is with So Energy, which pays 5p per kilowatt hour of export yes i know it's rubbish rate but um that's what we are again paid and that's totaled 17 pounds and uh 46 pence because we've exported 349 kilowatt hours so nearly twice our actual monthly usage there so it's been a very very good month for solar um 
if you've been watching my previous videos, at the end of each of these, I'm, I like to compare a deck to a previous month from the previous year because in January I made a prediction that said that April was going to be similar to September, and that what made um, how I do my payback calculation. On that note, I've just passed three hundred pounds um, made back on my solar panel, so this is a mixture of savings from not paying money to British Gas and also on Seg. So in seven months, we've made. Three hundred pounds on a one thousand eight hundred pound investment. Obviously, our in electricity rates are quite low, and over time, we are hoping to move from gas heating to electricity. Our electricity rates will go up, so that will accelerate over time. But we're, more, but we're very pleased with that. If you're thinking about that in terms of percentage yield, it's over five percent, so that's good. Anyway, and um, part of that um, prediction meant on the assumption that April was going to be similar to um, September. So in previous videos, if you want to go back and watch those, um, I've done March is similar to October, which turned out to be very wrong because March was terrible. Um, February was going to be similar to November, and December was similar to January, and those actually turned out to be quite true. But so let's see how this actually compares April to September. So we ended up with a lot, bit, quite a bit more generation. Um, 513 kilowatt hours compared to 430 kilowatt hours in September. Our use, as you can see, very similar. 187 kilowatt hours in April, 191 kilowatt hours in September. So that was fairly close. And also, if we weren't away, um, we would actually probably use a bit more electricity. Import, um, in terms of actual numbers, it's very close. Six kilowatt hours this month, 13 kilowatt hours last month. This is rounded up, by the way. Um, but obviously that's 50% or oh, um, we used twice as much, imported twice as much in September so if you're turn, talking about in percentage terms it's quite a bit different. Export, um, a lot more export this month, nine, nearly 90 kilowatt hours more export this month compared to September. Um, therefore the money on import was um, a lot uh, less this month, uh, £1.04 compared to £2.50. pence. Money saved is actually very, very similar because we use the same amount of electricity. So that's a hundred. Uh, sorry, that's thirty-five pounds and fifty-five pence this month compared to thirty-four pounds and eighty-nine p um, in September. Seg, this is very, very different. Uh, Seventeen pounds and forty-six p this month, and only four pounds and seventy-five p um, from September. But that's because our seg tariff didn't kick in until the 21st of September, so we actually missed 21 days there. So that would have been very different. And that all then comes into our total saving. This month we uh, made money and we saved and then also made that money. So if you add those two together, we have £53.02. This is the first month we made over £50. And our t that was compared to September, which was um, 39p. £39.64, but again, that doesn't really give a true representation because we didn't count much of our uh, actual uh, export to the grid. So how does this look going forward? Well, if the next few months are as good as uh, April, and we should be in the British summer, with May, June, July and August, hopefully we'll make about another £50 each month on that, and that means we'll get to our £500 sort of mark um, in our yearly... Um, payback on the panels if you if that's what you're interested in it also means that we should be up around the 4,000 kilowatt hours generated which is what our the prediction said when we had them installed it also means that we're well on target to get to that um, prediction that I had that our yearly import on electricity would be around 90 pounds it's currently at about 70 so it'd be interesting to keep follow, uh, keep up with that so as I say please um, like this video if you liked it or found it useful please um, comment give uh, any thoughts that you have um, and obviously please hit the subscribe button and i'll see you in another video very soon